Wildcats, and welcome to this episode of Wildcat Legends. I'm Carson, and this week we have crazy stories for you, so let's get right into those. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jonathan Lance here, your theater teacher at Reigns High School. And first off, I wanted to thank everybody who showed up to 10 Ways to Survive the Zombie Apocalypse. We had hundreds of people show up, and actually on our 2 o'clock Sunday show, it was amazing. It was standing room only we sold it out which was absolutely incredible the one of the things that i wanted to just let everybody know 110 percent is our next show our auditions are this wednesday right after school so if you're interested in being cast or crew just show up after school on wednesday it's for a detective thrilling mystery murder and we're actually going to be serving dinner that night to our guests um, the show should be the second weekend of december so i'm very excited about that show but here's one of the things that you need to know you do not have to be a theater kid at all to participate in this event so if you are in ag or you're an art kid or you're really passionate about anything you can still show up to our auditions and be a part of our show okay a lot of people be like well i'm not in theater so i can't show up you can absolutely show up and you know what we need you and i think you're awesome so show up wednesday after school so show up this wednesday right after school to check out detective trope and audition Thanks, guys. Hey, Wildcats. Today I'm here with Katie. We're going to be interviewing her about the world of volleyball. So tell us a little bit about what's happening. Um, so basically, we had a tournament last week to determine second, third, and fourth. And we beat Edgewood, but we lost to Paris Chisholm, so we're third in district. And today we play at Greenville High School against Blue Ridge to go further into playoffs. Oh, so you're playing today. How do you think that's going to go? I think we stand a very good chance against them. I feel like if we have our best game, we'll do really good. Who do you think is the best player in the volleyball team? Carly Crack, for sure. She's already committed to Baylor. She's very, very good. All right, thank you so much. I think that'll be it for this interview, Wildcats. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, Wildcats, today we're interviewing Miss Maddie about just what's going on in her world. So tell us a little bit about what's going on. Well, in my world, uh, my students, uh, number one, the Art One students, so the freshman classes, they're working on blending. And this week we're doing all the different mediums. So we're going to start off with uh, graphite. Then I'm going to teach them how to use uh, charcoal, black and white charcoal. Then we're going to move on to matte pencil. Pen, and then we're gonna end the week with learning to blend with paint, black and white paint. My art two and three students, um, they just came out of the Baroque and Rococo era, which is like the 1600s, uh, kind of like Beauty and the Beast time period. And they had to carve a piece of furniture out of foam. And now they're going into the Romantic time period and they're going to do a, um, a small postcard landscape, but the medium, instead of painting, they're gonna use matte pencil. And my art four students, they're making a children's book. So they have to come up with a mythological creature and they had to make a little book that's um, second, third grade level and make a children's book. So is there anything happening in base that you're excited about? Or? So yeah, uh, we've got a lot of good students. I surprisingly have a lot of freshmen who are interested. Um, and uh, during the win period, the kids, they come in and they're working. We have several different mediums, several uh, 3D projects going on also, which I'm excited about. Competition isn't until February, but um, I'm excited and glad that everybody is working now. So, you know, no one will have pressure by the time the deadline hits. So it will be in person. We're going to actually go to Tyler this year and it, uh, we'll be competing against the region. So it's not district, we can do the whole region. And then if they pass that region, then they'll go on to state in San Marcos, Texas, and that'll be in May. So it's, okay. it's gonna be, I'm taking about um, 18 students. So I'm really excited. I hope that all 18 actually commit and go, um, but I know that you know all of them are gonna so, do great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, sounds exciting. All right, thank you so much. I think that'll be it for this interview. Thank you for doing this with us. You're welcome. Alright, time for some bizarre stories. This Virginia man by the name of William Newell bought 20 identical lottery tickets for the same, like, company and won the top prize 20 times for a grand total of $100,000. Okay, and up north in Indiana, this sealed copy of Super Mario Bros. 2, the 1988 video game, sold for $88,500. Okay, and that's enough about the past. Time to ramp it up to the future. This past week, October 29th, 
a Japanese startup company just unveiled their hover bike, which features an, a, a combustion engine, which can go up to speeds to 60 miles per hour. So it's a floating moped. It's really exciting. It, it floats. All right, and your weather report for this week is pretty breezy, pretty chilly, so you might need to grab a jacket. The high of Wednesday is just going to be 75 with a low of 55 for that morning temperature. Over into the next day on Thursday, it's going to be 74, so it drops a degree with the low of 54. And then on Friday, it's going to be 70 with the low of 46. So Friday, we have some pretty good weather for that football game. All right, and for the weekend report on Saturday, it's going to be 66, so we're finally reaching that barrier for fall weather. And on Sunday, it's going to be 67. So let's get ready to start grabbing our flannels and jacket. Hey Wildcats, thank you so much for watching this episode of Wildcat Legends. If you can, like and subscribe and share with your friends. I'll see you later.